Yeah, I've always been pretty obsessed with shoes. I mean, I remember I had a pair of Lakai Rick Howards in school, and like they were fresh, and I was like walking around in school just looking down, and my friend was like, Why are you, dude, you're just staring at your shoes all day long. What the fuck's wrong with you? So many shoes and was into so many shoes. I love the DC Lakes. I love that Rick Howard shoe. There was a Josh Kayla shoe that was so sick. It was like charcoal and red. I had some Stevie Williams that were so sick. Some Mark Johnson Americas. Just I kind of just went all across the board buying all sorts of skate shoes. Really, I used to love the guys, but I don't know if any of them would have like shaped what I thought a perfect skate shoe would be. I think that changes every so often, you know? I don't think that it can, I can go back to my childhood of skateboarding and be like, oh, that shoe would work now because it wouldn't, you know what I mean? Um, that's what's cool about skating is that shit's moving so fast. People, the way people dress, the way people wear their shoes, the shoes people wear, you know, the size boards people skate, it's always fluctuating. So it's always gonna need to be current with skateboarding, sort of, you know? And it always comes full circle, but I feel like you always have to be updating what you're doing. A lot of times when you get, you know, you're like, oh man, the Excel was such a sick shoe. And it was, it was, you know? You fucking hold that thing in your hand and it's insane now, it's a brick. Like the toe cap is sitting that high off the sole and it's awful looking. But in your memory is the best looking shoe ever. You know what I mean? So it, not all shoes, can be brought back, but some of them work. I mean, like I just saw that sound, like, oh, it looks pretty sick. I'm always just digging, you know what I mean? I'm always like, oh, like this looks cool, and then I Google image search that, or search a hashtag of it or something, and try to find as many images of it as I can. And, you know, vans are amazing, but they've been around since the 60s, and shoes have been made way longer than that, so it's cool to me to go back way farther in time and look at the way tennis shoes looked, the way Vulcanized shoes looked, and everything, and just kind of pull across the board versus just pulling from bands, you know? When I made this shoe, I was looking at a lot of military shoes from like World War II era. Like the way the green and black one is colored out, I saw a lot of military colorways like that where it'd be a black sole and then the toe cap would be black. I also just have been into like athletic looking shoes, like more tennis shoes, not all the way that way, you know, if you go that way too far, it's, shit gets really crazy, but something where it's like blending an athletic shoe with a skate shoe, and I try to give it a classic look at the same time. The first samples were almost right. That was just from computer drawings and line drawings that I had sent them. There's a lot of similarities and there's a lot of differences. It's kind of just like a, an update, really. To me, you know, you put this one on and I kind of think it just has like an updated fit, grip a little bit. I'm just sort of obsessive about shit, especially gear. I just like need it to, to fit right, I need it to work right. No matter what it is, if I'm skating in it, chilling in it, walking in it, it doesn't matter, I'm just like particular. That just kind of transcends into every fucking part of my life, whether I like it or not, you know what I mean? So, it's just always been there and hopefully it'll always be there. I would love to keep designing shoes, it's fucking so fun.